Let me at him! Well, there it is. So there's going to be a ladder reset for Warcraft 3. Hell, it's about time. This is awesome news. So this is going to affect US West, that's Lordaeron. US East, that's Azeroth. Kalimdor, that's uh, Asia. And of course, Europe, which is Northrend. So all of us are going to be affected by this ladder reset. And with this ladder reset comes a fresh start for all ladders. So 1 versus 1, 2 versus 2, 3 versus 3, 4 versus 4, and 3 for all, as well as team games, arranged team games. And on top of that, there should be a new map pool, which is really, really awesome because it's about damn time. I've said that twice now, and heck, I might even say it three times by the end of this video. So let's actually have a look at what it says at the Battle.net news, because thanks to William Cheung, who informed me today, even though I logged in yesterday, I forgot to actually pay attention to the news because, well, you don't really expect much news to be up on Battle.net since the game is quite old by this point, but apparently a reset is happening, so it's going to give it a bit new fresh blood. So let's have a little read of this. So this went out on the 27th of May. On May the 28th at 10 a.m. PDT, so that's early in the American mornings, and that's evening for me, which is probably right about now. It's almost 6 o'clock for me right now at this point. However, there's going to be maintenance, so we will be conducting maintenance to reset the ladders and rotate the available maps for Warcraft 3. We anticipate that the realms could be down for up to 3 hours, and during that time, current ladder rankings will be reset. To participate in the new season, simply wait until the Warcraft 3 realms return to service, log into your Battle.net account, from within the game client and join games to test your melee against other worthy opponents. You can view your standings progress via the ladder info button or press an L from the in-game Battle.net interface. Enjoy the new season champions. More to come from the Classic Games team soon. More to come. Hmm. Now what does that mean? post your ideas. So obviously I'm going to be putting up a few videos within the next few days regarding the, all of this kind of information, but this is your first bit regarding the ladder reset. So if you want to see your ladder info, you click on that and that's how you find now. And you're going to want to do that because you're going to want to look at your nice new shiny account. Bear in mind that when they do these ladder resets, they don't reset all of your stats as such. They just reduce you to like you know, you don't have any level in 1 versus 1, you don't have any level in 4 versus 4, etc. But you still have like 500 wins as human, and 400 losses as human, that kind of thing. You still have your icons, I assume, because that's the way it's always been. However, we will have a look and see the maps, potentially, because they did say they were going to be doing a map rotation as well. Which means that we could be saying goodbye to death now. Whoa, I can't wait for that one. Gives me the shivers just thinking about it. So here's um, a US Battle.net EM forums. There's not many posts, obviously, but there's a couple of posts mentioning it. The Warcraft 3 update, you're welcome to check them out. There's not really all that much information there, but it's, it's another bit of valid proof, I suppose. And here we have the Battle.net... Well, if you go just literally type in Warcraft 3 maps, you can find this link. It's pretty easy. Uh, map and blah, blah, blah. So you get the idea. And um, down here you can scroll to see the maps that are actually on the ladder, although this is kind of outdated because it doesn't include death now. However, I will be going over the maps very shortly in a moment just to sort of give you my opinions on the maps and what I would like to see and what I won't like to see. Some of the maps might not be included, so this is something I'm definitely going to look into tomorrow because I'm off to bed shortly after I make this video because I have to get up at 2.30am mm, to go to the gym and then to work. But when I get back from work, I am going to be streaming some Warcraft are free leveling up on that ladder because I cannot wait it's gonna make it all exciting and fun to play again so let's do this first off battleground I really enjoy this map it's small action-packed there's a lot of stuff to potentially do on it and there's quite a lot of team focused orientated gameplay you know involved so definitely a big yes for me on battleground Cherryville if you'd like to work when I click on you um, I could see this one go. It's not a bad map. I'm a little bit bored and I feel like it's a little stale. It's got potential, but I feel like it's a little rigid. So, it's a little nondescript there for you, but I feel this map's a little rigid. It could be spiced up a little bit more. And 
I don't know, I feel like I have very similar games on this map, so I wouldn't mind seeing this one be changed. Deadlock. We can definitely keep this one in. This is much like Battleground. For God's sake, it's not even working when I click on the... There we go. Right, okay, Battleground. So it's pretty similar to that, in a sense, that everyone's right around each other, but you've got the ability to go pure diagonal to this guy, or around here to this expansion, or even to the middle. I definitely want to see this map stay. It's, an, it's a fun one, and I can get quite a few varied games, particularly with the mercenary camps as well. That's always a good thing. Dragonfalls. This has to go. Um, it's actually a pretty good map, if I'm honest. However, I hate the stale feeling of this kind of linear pathway towards your enemies or going the long way around which really punishes you and then you might just get screwed over from all of that way and you kind of run out of creeps pretty quickly on this map it feels like there's not so much to do you do have goblin laboratories which are awesome in terms of the zeppelin harass but because the allies are nearby each other they can often help each other out versus Zeppelin Harass pretty easily. So I'm not that keen on this map. I feel this map tends to be a little boring for me. However, you might disagree. So I could see Dragonfalls go. Friends. Wow. This is quite the map, this one. I think a lot of people enjoy this map. And if you are an experienced player and know how to abuse undead, as well as other races, of course, you can get a lot of stuff done on this map. It is really potentially very powerful. And you even got marketplaces on it, so this has to come back in. Granted, you can get screwed over. You get a terrible ally and you've got two really good enemies harassing you. That can happen. So you can have bad games on this map, very bad games, but I think the map has so much potential if you know how to exploit. And that's one of my favorite things to do, is to use that kind of knowledge, is to really exploit the fiend imbalance. Pull those wolves back, creep them without barely losing a single thing and get yourself some awesome items. You can do the same for the goblin laboratory camp again versus the ogres. There's so much potential with undead imbalance on this map. Oh, <laughs> makes me want to play undead again. Almost. Full-scale assault. Mm. This is a good map. I feel like I've kind of had enough of it, so I wouldn't be sad to see it go. But if it stays, not a problem, because you can still potentially have quite a few fun strategies involving the Zeppelin and the Goblin, or the Mines. I don't apparently have any music. Well, no, maybe I do. It's just very quiet. Anyway, it's not really important. we got the... Yeah, there's just there's a few things you can do on this map. I just don't quite like the linear type maps. I like a real open battleground slash space where I can move anywhere I want to go. But this map has potential regardless. So I could see this one stay. But if it went, I wouldn't cry. Gold Rush. Fuck. This is like the best map. Aside from potentially Market Square. This map, if you again are very experienced and know how to abuse, you are going to get a lot of stuff done. The One of the most powerful strategies on this map in particular, one of the most powerful strategies in 4 versus 4 RT alone itself is a Night Elf feeding an Undead. If the Undead is incredibly capable and he's potentially on the outside, or at least the Night Elf is on the inside. And this map enhances it. The Night Elf can take potentially two, maybe even three gold mines here and feed the crap out of the undead and potentially these other allies as well because of the sheer surplus of gold you're getting. This is Gold Rush. This is where it all happens. And I love this map. You've got stuff in the middle to do. It's, it's a little bit like Battleground where it's, it's, everyone's around each other. So you can kind of go in any direction you want. There are somewhat linear pathways between inside the trees, the layout, and then you kind of got this circle where you go around. But you can still trail off into different directions. Wherever you want to go, you have the potential to do so. The only thing this map is lacking is a goblin laboratory. As well as a marketplace. But we don't really expect marketplace to be on many maps. Because it can potentially be quite game breaking. But I wouldn't mind seeing a marketplace on every map to be quite frank. For the long term. For the long game. For the real sort of potential randomness of things. However, goblin laboratory would be nice. But... Because this map offers you so much, you don't often feel like you're missing out on that Goblin Laboratory. Golems in the Mist. I would love to see this updated with a tavern in the middle. That would be absolutely fantastic, and then the map can stay exactly as it is, pretty much. This is a really interesting map. 
it seems simple. However, there's actually quite a lot of complex sort of um, teamwork orient orientated play going on in this map. You'll notice some strong two versus twos, and then sometimes you'll have three versus twos, which then provokes another player into harassing another base. It becomes very interesting, this map. Even though it seems very linear, I like this map. I think it has that potential. And again, you can move through the middle. You don't have to go around this outside, this one linear path to your enemy. You can go through the middle, around here, all the way, long way around. The only thing that's bad about this map is the name. Golems. There's fuckloads of golems, and who the fuck likes golems? Next is Hurricane Isles. I want to see this one come back, only for the sake that it is absolutely batshit crazy. This is a nuts map. This was the map that killed so many people's games. You would have so many people leave on this map. That's not a good thing. I'm not saying that's a good thing. But I miss this map enough that I will be willing, willing to participate in an ally leaving and play for them just so I could play on this map. Because it is so wildly diverse and full of potential. Just look at that. Seriously, that is just batshit. That is crazy, really, what you can do on this map. Your possibilities are limitless, really. And again, it's very good for players that know how to exploit. Lots of potential strong items there. Marketplace absolutely has to stay. If this one goes, it will be the end of Blade Masters. <laughs> no, nothing would finish Blade Masters off. But it would be very sad to see this go. So, I'm not going to say too much about it. It's got loads of imbalanced creeps, loads of imbalanced items. Lots of ways to creep stuff and get expansions and all the items very quickly and very easily through exploitation. Mercs, taverns in the right place, awesome stuff in the middle happening. You can't get rid of this map. You know, the one sheer irony of this map is that there actually isn't a marketplace on this map. That's kind of funny when you think about it. They could always shove it in the middle, even though there is enough in the middle, but why not? needs a marketplace, so chuck that in there. Imagine the items you could buy for your Blade Master then. Murgle Oasis, one of my favourite maps, but at the same time one of my most hated maps, only when you're left in a situation that is truly unfair to you. Otherwise, I am willing to play this map for many, many, many games. I've always enjoyed this map, and I think I always will, because it's always got those potentials for, you know, lots of exploitive creeping as well. I just like that kind of stuff. The only thing this map lacks on is additional creeps to sort of benefit from. However, there's still so much vibrancy from this map. I mean, look at the colours. I just like the jungle theme. So that's a yes from me. Slalom. No. We should not see this map come back. If it does come back, I will play it and I will do what I need to do on this map, and I will try to enjoy it. However, I don't think this is a particularly well-made map. It kind of actually is very well targeted towards 4 versus 4, if you're going for the whole everyone groups together in a 4 versus 4, a true 4 versus 4 battle. However, that just exemplifies the amount of luck and randomness that comes into it, and whether your allies are good or not. So there's very... L there's not so much potential for a solo player to really kick ass on this map, which is probably why I'm not the biggest fan of it. So, we could say no to that one. Twilight Ruins. A brilliant map. Really is. Look at it, it's even got four marketplaces on it. There's so much potential on this map, and it's nice and open, there's lots of ways to get to your enemies. This has to stay. I've played it quite a lot of times, I've definitely done pretty much everything I think I can pretty much do on this map. However, I still want to play it, so I'm happy to see this one come back. Now, as for Death Nail, which I can't show you, that's a definite no. And all the other maps that I can't think of that might currently be on the leather, which I could actually probably check if I went to play game. This would be another way to look at it, but I was just showing you the, the big pictures. The big boys. So you've got Battleground, Cherryville, no, Deadlock, yeah, we've been over all of these. So these are basically the maps that I've just been covering. Ah, Deadlands was another one. That 
can stay. It's different enough to the other maps that I think it deserves to stay. However, I wouldn't be terrified if it was replaced with something else. Death Nail, hell no. And Last Man Standing, I think this map should go. I have fun on it, but it really is just a mash fest. It's just, if your team, this is similar to the slalom potential. If your team is shit, you are going to have a horrible time because they might be good and they will creep through all the powerful creeps, get the great items, get the stuff in the middle, and just bulldoze you over. And then they can potentially get the dragons as well. I love the dragons being there and I always try to exploit them. But it's a little bit samey. There's not that much you can do on this map too different really. There needs to be more potential for boarding parties to harass with zeppelins and enemy bases and stuff like that. But that just doesn't really happen because people just build loads of towers on the outside bases. And it becomes very linear. So there you go. Those are the maps. And I will definitely be covering this again like I say tomorrow. I'm going to go over the new maps that we will be getting. Preferably there will be some new maps. Maps that we maybe never have seen before. Or at least maps that we are very unfamiliar with. So I am really up for them spicing it up. Because obviously we've been playing with these maps for a long time now. So it would be fantastic if we could get some new stuff. Right then guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope you look forward to what the new ladder reset and map rotation brings to us. So make sure you uh, log on to Battle.net and I will be playing on Northrend. Like I say, I'll be streaming tomorrow because I'm going to be trying to level up. I don't know whether I'm going for a rank 1 again because it depends on how long it will take me to find games in the higher level range. But I'm definitely going to enjoy just the experience of leveling up in this fresh new star. I love ladder reset, so I'm definitely going to get on on that. And I hope you do as well. So if you are interested or have any opinions about what maps you'd like to see, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, take care, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. So subscribe if you want to see more, like the channel and all of that, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.